I'm Phil Schoenberg, Fast Pitch Power, and today we're going to continue our series in how to establish the runway, the throw zone if you will, to maximize control and command of your movement pitches. We already did fastball and change up in my previous post, and today we're going to start on movement pitches. The first pitch that I'm going to show you and the relationship of what you do within your throw zone and how you establish your throw zone to maximize command of that pitch is going to be the screwball. We talk a little bit about the screwball as a, quote, movement pitch. The screwball is not really a movement pitch, it's more of a running pitch, and I, I won't go into great detail at this point in time as to what the difference is, but suffice it to say that the uh, screwball is a pitch that utilizes the entire pitching lane the pitching lane I'm going to refer to, and it's different than the throw zone, the pitching lane is a lane that is the width of your pitching rubber that goes all the way down to the catcher's target, across home plate. So the width of the pitching rubber all the way down is your pitching lane. You can only stride and drive and maneuver within that pitching lane, otherwise it is an illegal pitch. Now, I'm not talking about the ball. I'm talking about your feet and your body, mostly your feet. So when I set up to throw a screwball, how I place my feet is going to determine my ability to follow and create a hand path, a throw zone that is specific for a screwball. Now, let me explain. And I, and I was just talking a little bit about the difference between a running pitch and a moving pitch. A screwball is a running pitch. It uses the entire lane and cuts from one side of it to the other side of it. If you're a left-handed pitcher, it cuts from the right-hand portion of the lane to the left-hand portion of the lane and goes inside to a right-hand batter if you are a right-hand pitcher, which I am. So I'm going to move back to the pitching rubber now. And hopefully you can see it here in the ground. And you can see I've put a piece of white PVC pipe that will basically give you a center line of my throw zone and my pitching lane. It's not all the way extended, but it's good enough for these purposes. When I come off the pitching rubber for my fastball or my change, it's basically going to be a straight pitch to the corners, hopefully, not down the middle of the plate, but I can throw it down the middle of the plate if I want to, but to each of the corners with tiny little adjustments of how my stride is, but it's basically a straight stride, my glove, remember? The rudder that steers your ship is going to point to where I want that pitch to go. And here is my movement for and the establishment of my throw zone for my fastball. Straight line going right down this white line. And then I fire and drive in a straight line to where I want that ball to go. Inside corner, outside corner, middle, wherever it is you happen to want that pitch to go. For a screwball, we want to establish a picture of the pitch. And what do I mean by that? When I stride, I want to create a path with my feet and my body that if my hand follows from my drive foot, which is my right foot as a right-handed pitcher, to my stride foot, it's actually going to draw a picture of the pitch in the throw zone. Here's what I mean by that. So when I come off the pitching rubber, I just showed you what I look like coming off for a fastball. The picture I'm drawing is a straight line because that's pretty much what a fastball is going to do. So as I come off for a screwball, my stride is going to be slightly to the left of the power line. So now I'm in position, I'm still balanced, and you'll notice that my glove hand, the rudder that steers my ship, has taken my stride foot along with it slightly to the left of the power line. Now my hand is a little bit outside that power line. And as I bring my hand forward into my throw zone, if I follow that throw zone from the line, it's actually a little bit of a banana hook, from my dry foot toe to my stride foot toe, I am actually drawing a picture of the pitch in the throw zone I have created. So it's very important for you to create a throw zone where your hand path for your movement pitches is drawing a picture of what you want the pitch to do. I'm going to do it in slow motion, 
but I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. And when I draw a picture of the pitch and I allow my hand to finish over on the other side of the power line, which is where I want the ball to end up, you will see how establishing my runway, here it is, now I'm going to go outside, inside, fire, out. And that's how I am going to throw my screwball. At the end, you're going to utilize forearm snap and wrist snap in the direction that you want the ball to go, but the path of your hand, which is created by the movement of your feet, establishing a throw zone where you can draw a picture of the pitch, is the optimal way to command that movement pitch. The other movement pitches, I'm going to show you in subsequent posts, curve ball, the drop ball, the rise ball. Everything you do as far as movement pitches, fastball changeup, is going to be more successful. You're going to have more command. You're going to have more control if you establish a throw zone that allows you to draw a picture of that pitch. So again, the screwball is going to look like this. That's how you want to establish your throw zone so that your hand can move on that path and draw that picture. Whatever your pitching hand does, your ball is going to do. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please leave comments, leave questions. We will answer them for you. We want you to be the best pitcher you can possibly be, and we will give you the information you need to do just that. Great talking to you. Have a good day.